Hello, good morning, friend. It's Puji here, and today I'm gonna give you a quick 20 minutes tutorial for uh, for shoulders and the neck. So this tutorial is releasing the tension of the shoulders and the neck because we are stuck at home, and I guess most of you is working in front of the computer where our body is forced to be hunching forward, and then you know, working in the computer. So we're gonna give some gentle, uh, a good circulation, blood circulation to the area in the shoulders, in the neck, as well as maybe some finger stretch. And to the tutorial is, um, maybe you can sit on the blanket if it feels comfortable. And you can go as high as you want or without blanket, whatever you feel like. And today we're gonna need yoga strap, if you have one. But if you don't, you can use belt as well as a scarf so I have this yoga strap and you can also use a scarf or a belt whatever that you have so have it handy and give it and put it just right here next to you first we're gonna rotate to sit bone find a nice comfortable position and maybe you can get some flex out and feel the sit bone rooting down and maintain a long spine Imagine there is a string that pull the crown of the head up to lengthen your spine and imagine there is this imaginary wall behind you so you don't want to lean forward, you want to go back and then chin slightly in, roll the shoulders back and down, you can close your eyes, hand rest nicely on your thigh, breathe here for five breaths, inhaling through the nose, Exhaling through the mouth, inhale. <sighs> inhale. <sighs> Three more times, inhale. <sighs> inhale again. <sighs> Last one, make it long, as long as you can. <sighs> Open your eyes and from here, we're just gonna give a gentle circle on the shoulders. And then you can go to opposite direction if it feels good. But for me, it doesn't feel good. So I'm just going to stay going on the back here. And then from here, we're going to bring our left thumbs down on the left side as we reach so much with our right hand. Try to maintain a long spine here. Just reach so much with your right fingertips. Rooting in the sitting bone. Don't leave your sitting bone. Just root up. From your body and then slowly bend your left knee as you give a body a nice stretch on the right side the neck here is good but if you want more of you feels good with your neck you can look up for the ceiling fingertip reaching to the left side breathe five four three two one, inhale back to the center, right hands down. Inhale, left and reach again. Reach so much that you cannot reach anymore and that is your, your you know, that is your maximum. And slowly inch to the right. Eyes can be open, can be closed. Hands keep reaching up and then if you feel good for your neck, you can look toward the ceiling. Feel the stretch on the left side of the body. Send the breath in any place that is uncomfortable for you. Start noticing how you feel in this pose. Which area that need more attention? Send the breath to that specific spot. For five, for three, for two, for one. Back to the center, inhale. Get nice again, shoulder roll. And from here, we're gonna bring our left hands hover right here. Imagine you have a, a ball that you're going to push it down as you slowly stretching your left side, bring your ears toward your right shoulder. The more, you, the more you push on your left hand, the more stretch you got on your neck and you can bring your ears toward your right shoulders more. Right hand can grab the left ears, but it doesn't pull, it just 
gently, gently pushing a little bit more for a deeper stretch. Breathe. Eyes can be closed. Five, four, three, two, one. And slowly from here, bring your chin toward direction of your right corners of the right armpit. So bring it down and look toward your right armpit. And from here, slowly bring your chin again, look it up into the ceiling, slightly up. And now bring the chin toward the chest. And straight back to the center. Let the right hands go. Left hands down. Oh, that's a lot. Give a nice gentle circle on the left wrist. Now we do the right side. Hands pushing. Again, imagine there is this ball that you want to push with your right palm. As you slowly stretching the right side, bring your left ears into the left shoulder. Mm, push again more, get more stretch. You also feel the stretch here opening on the front shoulders and the chest and slowly grab your left ears with your right, with your left hand and gently just resting there, pulling it slowly. Not a lot, it's just pushing it slowly. Breathe, push more with your right hand for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. And now bring the left chin toward the top of the left armpit. The direction, so you're gonna go down, look down, and bring the chin up to the right arm, to the left armpit. And slowly bring the chin up into the ceiling on the right corner. Look up. And from here, bring the chin into the chest. Slowly back up to the center. Right hands. All around. And you send it into the other direction. Shoulders. Now we're going to bring our shoulders into our ears. Hug it in. Elbow by our side. Imagine there is a pencil between your shoulder blades. So you want to squeeze the pencil. You want to bring your elbow together into your back. I mean, it's not going to happen. In but that's the direction that we're aiming for. So inhale, shoulders up. Elbow by your side, bring it back. Squeeze here, squeeze it in. For five, breathe. For four, hold it again, don't let it go. For three, for two, for one. And bring it down. Ooh, that feel nice. And now bring the hands in front of you and just get a nice gentle circle to the opposite direction. And bring it all the way up. And now changing the direction and bring it down. And now we're gonna stretching the whole hand here from your upper all the way to your forearms. So your tricep, your bicep, your forearm, all the way your wrist as well as your fingertip. So hands by our side in the T. Fingertips facing up, palms open. So flex your arm, flex your fingers, and really push it. Imagine there is this two wall next to our hand, that wall is gonna squeeze it in. So you wanna stop the wall from squeezing in, so you really push it. Really push it. You're gonna contract the whole muscle here, and then okay, inhale. Really push it. The more you push it, the more attraction you're gonna get, and the more set you will feel later at the end. For five, breathe. For four, for three, for two, for one. Let it go. Ooh, that's a lot. And from here, maybe you wanna bring the other foot in front, and we're gonna reach up. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. And again, sit bone rooting down. The hips is pushing down into the crown as you try to bring your spine forward in the crown of the head, in the center of the room. Maybe forehead will fall into 
the floor into the mat maybe not whatever you are is totally fine we are all the same try to reach your fingertips more forward without lifting your hip bone for five for three for two for one inhale look between your thumbs exhale walk your hand and from here we're gonna use the strap if you want to use the strap make sure the buckle is going to be on the right so it's not gonna hit you and then make the strap maybe wider as long as you can straighten your hand and then you can go all the way back so for some people maybe this here for some people maybe a little bit just slightly wider than the chest and from here the idea is we want to maintain straight hand so inhale we bring our hands up exhale bring it down inhale up exhale down let's do it four more times so this one for me is a little bit loose so i need to make it a little bit tight and try to bring the strap away from each other if you want to use a, a scarf it's the same way make it straight inhale hands up exhale bring it down inhale up exhale bring it down so you want to maintain straight hand all the time especially when from the back going going up inhale exhale inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down two more times inhale exhale inhale up the slower you move the more stretch you feel on your shoulder here exhale down it's a chest opening pose it's gonna we are used to be like this so we want to bring the chest open and from that side we're going to do cat cow foundation so first one when we go to the cow we're going to tilt our our tailbone up arch your belly forward drop your chest this is cat. I mean, this is cow. And then as you do the cat, you bring your chin toward your chest. You run your back, suck the belly in, and rooting your tailbone down. So that's the direction we're going to do. We're going to do it with the combination of the hand. As we inhale, we're going to do the cow. As we exhale, we're going to do it. Inhale, arch your tailbone. Go forward. And then as you exhale, you run the back. Put your hands in. Inhale up. Look up to the sky, if you can, to the ceiling. Exhale, chin to chest. Push it with your hand. Round the back. Start the belly in. Inhale. Feel the stretch on your front of your neck. Exhale, chin to chest. Round your back. Push it. Suck the belly in. Really suck the belly in. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale, chin to chest, round the back, suck the belly in. And from here, we're just going to swim, make a circle. It's still, the movement is the same. As you go forward, you're doing, arching your back. As you go back, you're rounding your back. And then change the direction. And from here, bring to the earth. Releasing the feet, we're just gonna bring the feet straight. We're gonna try to sit down nicely in the staff pose. Dandasana. So bring the hands here. Try to sit straight. We don't wanna, we don't wanna hinge forward. We're gonna bring the tailbone down, suck the belly in, pick up the spine. Hands here, helping you to sit straight. Flex your toes. Try to bring your foot toward the socket, hip socket. Here. Bring, squeeze your thigh together, squeeze your leg together. For five, for three, for two, for one. Let it go. That's a lot. 
And now bring the sole of feet together. I'm just going to do butterfly, the feet. Again, switch the hand, the leg. It's quite good on the plan again. And from here, we're going to bring our right hands up. And then move it to the left. As we grab our left hands, grabbing the right, oh, bring it closer to your chest. Breathe it here. You can look toward the right, it feels good. If it's not, if this is already a lot on your right. Arm, so just stay here for five, for three, for two, for one. Bring the hands together. Bring the hands down together. <laughs> this step, left hand, reach up again. And slowly send it to the right. Pick up the right hand. Grab it. A mm, little bit higher than the elbow. Mm. Really, if you feel good, you can look toward the left. Noticing the body which side is tighter today. Bring attention to the breath. For five, for four, for three, for two. For one, let it go. And now we're gonna rotate the shoulders. So bring the hands to the side. And this time, you don't want your fingers tip forward to the sky. You're just gonna be this way. And imagine you're holding a, a two cup of glass of water here. So you hold it like this. And then one cup on the right, you wanna pour it to the back. When the left one, you wanna pour it down. So we're gonna do this rotation of the shoulders. Maybe you start feeling clicky click crack on the shoulders. It's totally fine. It's just the muscle starting to get some blood, some movement, starting the feeling, the nerving system that maybe usually you ignore and now they have some nice massage. Last one and now circle it again. And now from here, we're going to do eagle arms or gandhas. And now we're going to bring the right hand cross it under the left. So like this. And then bring the right hand, straightening the right hand. As you bring the left hand, try to grab the right palm. So you're going to be in this pose. Maybe some of you, if you cannot do the bind, you can just stay here. Here is totally fine. But the important part is, I want you to leave your elbow as high as the shoulder. And from here, slowly we try to bring the elbow up as we inhale and we also look up. And then slowly from here as we exhale, bring the elbow into the belly as we run the back, run the back. And chin toward the chest. Feel the stretch on the back of your neck. Breathe here. Just one more breath. And do it one more time. We inhale up. Exhale. Chin to chest. Run the back. For five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Inhale back to the center. Bring it up one more time here, just here. For five, for three, for two. For one and relax, gently, slowly, let it go. Open it. Exhale, hug your body. Inhale, open it. Exhale, hug your body, run your back. Last one, inhale. Hug yourself. Exhale, back to the center. <coughs> one more time, and now we do the left one. But just do a gentle circle first and now bring the left one under the right and again the left hand just stay try to bring the right hand to grab the left palm elbow here try to bring the elbow shoulder distance feel the stretch if this is good for you you can stay here but if you feel like oh i'm kind of fine here i want a little bit more stretch look up and slowly exhale pinch your chest run your back Hold here for five, for three, for two, for one. And help. 
Good. Exhale, round your back again. Hold here. Breathe. Four, five. Four, four. Four, three. Four, two. Four, one. You inhale back to the center. Take a moment and then bring it up again one more time. Breathe. Four, five. Four, four. Four, three. Four, two. Four, one. Inhale. Exhale. Let it go. Again, open it up. Arch your back here. Arch it. Arch it. Open it up. Look up as you exhale. You round it. Suck the belly in front of your spine. Hug yourself. Ah, more. Back to the center again. Hug it. Last one. And then hug it. So good. Now we're just going to do a quick gentle massage into the neck. So we're just going to bring the hands. First, we're going to bring the hands together and then we're just going to push it forward. Just slowly bring it up. Maybe here for five, for three, for two, for one. And let it go. And then we're going to clap set on the back. And this time, try to bring the other thumb in the front and hug it in here. And slowly from here, try to bring your chest forward as you try to bring your hands up. And maybe your forehead will come down to the ground. And just feel the stretch here. You're opening the side of your arm, your shoulders. Breathe. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly. And exhale back to the center. Let it go. Put the hands again. And now from here, we're just going to open the wrist. Just sprinkle happiness around. Gun, corona, gun. And then just kind of like doing it. Egyptian dance. And now we're just going to circle the neck any way you want. Gently. Try to move your neck slowly. Feel the stretch first before you move down. So from here, when you were chai, chai, I mean chin down, just feel the stretch on the back of your neck. And then you move to the left, feel the stretch on the right side. And then you go up again. Feel the stretch on the front of the neck. Shoulders down. The neck's moving, not the shoulders. And now change it to the opposite direction. Close your eyes. Last one. Super mindfully and gently. Back to the center. Take a moment here. Close your eyes. Feel the breath again. Now open your eyes and we're going to do a, give a, a quick massage in our jaw. So bring your thumb and just bring it under the front of, under the shin here. And you just kind of like press your jawline. Mm. And once you are there, at the end, let it go. Do it one more time. Or you can just walk it, your thumbs following your jawline. All the way to your ears. Last one, just walk it. And then once you go to the back and you go in the ears, lightly behind the ears, bring the thumb up behind your ears. And now bring your middle fingers, grab your face. You don't want to squeeze it so much, just kind of like grab your face here. And then from here, just trace again your face with your middle fingers and your ring fingers. So just kind of nice gentle massage here. Doesn't have to go down all the way, just kind of like couple times and from here we're gonna gently push all the pinky to the face and slowly pick up the face bring it in the gaze toward the ceiling and then bring it down and from here bring the right elbow into the left 
look up to the left ceiling and back to the center and now bring the right elbow to the right and left elbow to the right and gaze toward the right ceiling and back to the center and now bring the hands behind your neck and the thumb is gonna be right here so you're gonna give massage here a little bit so thumb is like coupling your neck the four fingers, the, all the rest of the fingers are collapsing each other and then just kind of give gentle massage here. And now from here, you can bring your chin toward your chest, look down. And just give gentle massage with your thumb on the back side of your neck. And now from here, open the elbow up and then just gaze toward your left, left elbow first. And then gaze toward the right elbow. Gaze toward the left elbow. Gaze toward the right elbow. And from here, last one, bring the chin straight up again into the center. And then just look up to the support of your elbow. Don't, you don't want to pick up your knee. Your knee keep putting down. For five, for three, for two, for one. Back to the center. Hands into the gut. Shake it, shake it. And that's it. That is a nice stretch that you can do today for a quick release to the tension on the neck, on the jaw, as well on the shoulders. Um, I hope you'll be, uh, I hope um, you will like this, um, this tutorial and I hope it will help you to carry on with your day. Thank you so much. Namaste.